Hey everyone, it's Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper. I'm feeling pretty good because my class just finished their final and they rocked it. So I'm in some good spirits today to be doing this dupe or dud video. If you've ever watched any beauty uh, videos before, they do this common thing called dupe or dud where we oftentimes wonder, should I splurge and buy the face cream that's $50 or can I go with this drugstore brand for five? So I'm gonna be doing uh, something similar um, and Today I'm comparing the Michaels Artist Loft watercolor dual tip markers to the ever popular and famous Tombow dual brush markers. I know that not everyone has access to Tombows and sometimes the $3 cost is restrictive even if they're having a sale. It's not always um, accessible for folks. So I wanted to do a quick comparison of the different um, the differences and the similarities between these two pens. Um, the um, Artist Loft ones, they either come in this pack of 12 or 24. Uh, so if you get the pack of 12, it's these colors that are in the front, these very primary colors. And um, you can get these at any Michaels location. They are in that fine specialty area with the locked up like Windsor and Newton brush pens and stuff. So look over there where you'll find also like packs of Micron pens or um, Pitt brush pens as well and as well as the Copic and usually on the opposite side of the store as the other pens and scrapbooking stuff. So if I if, uh, I got the 24 pack, which includes the back side, which has some more neutral earthy tones, a couple of bright tones as well. Um, strangely enough, they don't include purple, which is a huge bummer for me because purple is one of my favorite colors. So um, that's already one of the downsides is that I think this is as many colors as they come with, um, whereas Tombow has, as you know, dozens and dozens of different colors and brightness and hues. So that's one clear distinction for me um, with these two different markers. Um, and the Tombow dual brush pens are ones that are recommended by a lot of folks. Um, they are big, so people who are practicing small, it's kind of hard to do that. So um, that's one of my personal things is that they're the finer tip brush calligraphy pens like the Pentel touch sign pens um, as well as like the Tombow Fudanosuke um, are, the, are the ones that I recommend for beginners because they're smaller. The tip is um, a little more manageable um, to control your thick and thins and Tombow is actually I think that next step um, because they are a little bigger. So if you're not familiar with the dual brush pens they have a dual tip so one side has this brush and then the other side has a bullet tip. And so right away, I see that that is, the, uh, is similar for both. So Artist Loft, they also have a brush tip and a bullet tip. So you get both. Um, the way they write, though, I find is very different. So um, using this brush pen, There are some people who can really master the hairline with the Tombows, but I have a really hard time, or my hand shakes. So I don't get that like beautiful tiny line. But you can put quite a bit of pressure as you practice using these, making sure that your hand is at an angle to the paper, not straight up and down, that is going to ruin your brush pen. I'm using regular printer paper, 20 pound paper, but I know if you get smoother paper, marker paper, it doesn't tear at the ends of your brush as easily. So that's just something to keep in mind. I also use a lot of Rhodia products, which the paper is super smooth and does not fray your tips. So that is how that writes. And, of course, the bullet tip. So the tip of that is, is kind of hard for me to do the hairline. So if I take a similar uh, color in that watercolor dual tip marker from Michaels, right away I notice that the brush is actually... Um, firmer. It's just the same size, but it's much firmer, which for me actually helps me do these hairlines here. You can tell um, I don't have to try as hard 
to do the hairlines um, going on my upstrokes, which is kind of nice for me. And then the bullet tip. So the bullet tip is pretty similar for me. Um, the other unique thing that I know people love about the Tombow pens are its blending. So I'm going to take the plastic wrap on my new ink pad and use that as my blending palette. You can use any plastic surface to do this, but I'm going to start off with this. And I'm going to pull um, and use a dark color, whoops, purple, and then blend that with this teal color. I'll go in. Make that beautiful blend. If you use smoother paper as well, you can see that as you go down in your strokes, there's this beautiful kind of ombre effect where the bottom of your letters are a little lighter than the top where you start, which is kind of beautiful. You don't really see that as much on the on this paper. And then with the Michaels pens, I'll do the same thing. I will put the darker color on the plastic and then just use the pen here. And it also blends. Which is kind of nice. And so if you're new to blending, don't worry, it actually self-cleans. You can see that um, the ink has come off the pink tip pretty well. You just keep writing and eventually the color fades off and you're back to a clean pen. So those are the couple things that I know that people use Tombow's for, which is the lettering and the blending together. Um, so I was a little surprised. I didn't know what to expect when I was comparing the two. Um, and I don't know how long the Michaels pens will last, but it, for the for the first glance, it, they actually seem pretty comparable. Um, and as well, if you enjoy using a stiffer um, brush tip, that might be helpful to you. They, they both blend um, as well as the Tombow pens. The one major downside for me, honestly, is that um, the Tombow um, comes in purple and the other ones don't. There's so many more options with the Tombow markers um, in terms of color and variety that the Artist Loft is missing. So that's the one huge downside for me. Um, and Tombows go on sale pretty often, but I know that for those of you who shop at Michaels, that 40% off coupon is really handy. The 24 pack, I think, was um, $30 um, uh, US dollars. So 40% um, off that makes a huge difference. If you want to get into brush lettering, this is a great way to go into it. You can practice it and get familiar with it with an affordable option before um, moving into using the Tombow pens. Um, they both are still some of my favorites, so either way, you're going to win. Um, so that's all I've got for you today. If you want me to do a different comparison of other um, comparable items to do another duper dud, let me know in your comments below or your own experience with Tombow's or Artist Loft um, watercolor dual brush pens. Um, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, but most of all, I hope that you enjoy. So that's all. I will see you in my next video. Bye!